you know you got a bad fan on a mini doge when it sounds like this. Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, I got Mrs. Yeti's nice colorful mini doge sitting here and it's been acting wonky for the last few days. Well, come to find out, this fan down here if you could hear at the very beginning of the video, the bearing or bushing, whatever it is, is going bad into it. And it's always, well, almost always, the RGB fans that suffer the uh, premature bearing failure. So today, we're gonna take these two fans out, clean the unit up, and throw two replacement fans. Non-RGB, but it'll just keep working because Mrs. Yeti doesn't care about the RGB, and I don't care about the RGB. We just want the Litecoin. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is unscrew the four corner screws for this whole front plate. This way the fans and the plate comes out together. Now, as you pull it a little bit, you'll see the hash board come out with it as well. We can pull the whole thing out and we can give it a bit of a dusting because it's kind of dirty in there. While we're here, we'll just give this is a quick dusting. Not too bad though. If you ever want to see the back of a mini doge, looks like a regular ASIC heat sink. See all the little tiny ones. So if you look on the fans themselves, they have two connectors. One up top here for your four pin power to actually control the PWM of the fan. And then you also have your RGB header. We're not gonna worry about the RGB header with the replacement fans because we're not doing uh, RGB fans for a replacement. We just want working fans. Get out of here. So let's disconnect these two. These two. Let's get the hash board out of the way. And now we can go ahead and just unscrew the front of the fans. And we can get rid of our two offenders now. So our replacement fans are with thigh brand 12 volt 80 millimeter by 25 millimeter 5000 RPM industrial fans found on Amazon. I'll keep a link for it in the video description below. These should work for any of the gold shell box miner fans. Now the connector on this is pinned out correctly, but it's not the exact same connector that a normal four pin fan works, but it does work in here. Does plug in and you're perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and go to assembly. Now the orientation for these fans is you want the label on the back blowing through. It blows through this way, through the mini doge and out through the back. Also orient the fan so this way you can wrap the cord around just enough so you can get to the top uh, power connector and then the bottom power connector. So there we go. We got power cable for the top, power cable for the bottom. Let's bring the hash board back in and feed it in through these little notches right here. Keep it hanging out a little bit. Let's go ahead and connect our power cables. And once you got those connected, go ahead and push the hash board back in, swivel this around. Maybe a little bit more slack on the lines. Make sure you don't pinch any wires when pushing it back in. Make sure as you're pushing the fans and the hash board back to keep an eye on the control board that's sitting sideways. Might need a little bit of extra guidance there just to get the slide back all the way. Okay, let's get this plugged back in. Okay, so we got power and ethernet plugged into the back. Let's give it power and see what it does. Fans spun right on up. Let's give it a few seconds for it to boot up and start hashing, and we'll take a look at the screen. Okay, so we've had it running for nine minutes now. And there's a little bit of heat coming out of the back, but let's go over to the screen now. We can see the hash rate peaking up here. We're getting 179 mega hash. Uh, temperature is only 54.1 C. 
and the fans, the stock fans would run about 2200 RPM. These fans are running around 3000 RPM for the same PWM value that it's programmed for. So these fans do run a little faster and actually keeps the chips cooler because normally mini dojos, they like to sit and they're programmed to sit right around like 70 to 75 C. So if anything, these fans, even though they run a little bit faster, they're probably about five decibels louder. They're, as again, this is still not a loud ASIC, even with these aftermarket fans, but it keeps the temperatures down on the ASIC chips a lot more, and that should give some longevity to the mini doges. So thanks for watching. Link for these fans will be down in the video description below. Come say hi over to Misfit Mining Discord. Link for that will also be down below, and I will catch you on the next video.